Hey guys, so apparently these are the most attractive male hobbies, so let's check this out. Uh, apparently reading is the top one. And that's uh, interesting because people might claim that they like someone who reads, but are they themselves reading? And what are they reading? So, I mean, when it comes to high school, I mean, just reading as a hobby might not be super respected. And I'm not sure it really goes up. It's like, oh yeah, I would like someone who's smart, but like, are you really reading books yourself? I would wager that most people haven't read like more than 100 books. Maybe even that is much. But like, suppose they read like 1000 books. Like, you know, have you read that? So, foreign languages. Sure. I would argue that the utility of foreign languages is not that high. I mean, sure. I mean, English uh, is important. And uh, another language that of the country that you plan to live in, I guess. I mean, it's okay, but, like, suppose you learn a lot of languages, then you're kind of be in this dilemma of, like, you either kind of, like, forget it, or you just work on it, even though it has no utility for you. So, playing an instrument. Yeah. I would say that people like the idea of playing an instrument. I kind of wonder if they, the those who uh, filled out this, this survey were kind of younger. Because, like, let's say that you, you like the idea of some guy coming with a guitar or some bullshit, but, like, do you do you like the idea of someone like practicing the instrument nonstop? Uh, because that could be annoying. Or they're like, oh yeah, check out my my new song or something. I mean, you might be into that, but the point is, it could be uh, a little bit annoying. So let's say like you have like Bob Bob the drummer as as your boyfriend, and like they just like really like playing the drums, right? I mean, it might be a problem. So cooking, sure, that that's just a plus, I guess. I want to know how to cook. Woodworking. It seems like something that you just want a handyman. Painting. Okay. Is that in an artistic sense or like just painting walls? Writing. Okay. Well, not not many people are making uh, money with writing, but like uh, you, you can, I guess you can maybe write some copies, might write some scripts or something like that. <laughs> okay. Gardening. Yeah. It's really painting a handyman picture. Just uh, be a smart handyman who plays the guitar and uh, maybe speaks French or something. Swimming, just being able. Hmm. Okay. Is that like attractive hobby? Swimming? Sure. I mean, being able to swim. Photography. Okay. Astronomy. Mm. I I don't know a single person who would like do astronomy like how, how would you even do this like are you just like looking up stuff online or like do you have like an amateur telescope or something hiking okay archery let me tell you archery fucking sucks <laughs> i mean past like 20 meters you can't even hit anything so it's uh just not that good i i don't know blacksmithing what is this who, who are they who's this person i i don't know it just really doesn't come together. Some kind of a medieval adventurer who's like... Who's also a handyman. And a polyglot. Something like that. Okay? Just be that. The chick's gonna dig it. Top hobbies, men who <laughs> think women like? Play the instrument. Yeah. It depends on what instrument you're playing. Because I, I knew guys who, who played less popular instruments. And uh, the chicks didn't dig it at all. <laughs> they had some harsh words toward them. Swimming, okay. So it seems to be rather popular. But the astronomy guys think that uh, the chicks wouldn't dig astro uh, astronomy. Now, to be fair, I don't even think that they have any idea what you're doing. So, blacksmithing, <laughs> archery, sure. Okay, least attractive male hobbies. Let's go comic books what about the reading part so i guess you should be reading just practical stuff any anything fun just uh, unacceptable not, not that i read comic books i guess but i guess like manga may be uh like somewhat equivalent to this i suppose not that i read that either but still like you're supposed to be reading something useful not 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 fun cosplay okay what happened to just people being uh expressive and <laughs> Okay, so that, that's just not acceptable for some reason. I mean, some justification would be interesting here. Debating. Wow, okay. Just be the guy who says yes, right? They say what, you say yes. 
drinking. Uh, I'm actually kind of uh, happy to see drinking so down uh, the list because uh, drinking is like, oh, you might have some dumbass drinking culture. Like, yeah, we gotta drink some poison. I'm gonna be like, yeah, I don't, I don't like drinking. So yeah, right, that that just works for me. It's not that attractive. Magic the Gathering, <laughs> worse than drinking. Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> anime? Okay, like, I'll, I'm gonna give you that. Like, some animes could be weird, but like, that's like saying that just don't read books or don't read, or don't, don't watch movies or TV shows. Like, yeah, there are many animes that are good. Like, by the way, I was not really exposed to anime before I was like 30 or something. So, but some anime is good. So, I guess just everyone just hates anime. Or like, at least, uh, like three out of four women just even hate the idea of anime. But why? We, we don't know, right? Makeup. Okay. Wow. That's a little hypocritical, isn't it? By the way, I, I, I've, su I've seen stats and women do prefer guys who wear makeup, but hate guys who wear makeup. So, I mean, they, they go after the guys. They, they rate guys who wear makeup higher because they look more attractive, because that's kind of how humans work. Uh, but they don't like the idea of the guy doing makeup. But that's kind of what I'm saying. But why? I guess that would give them an open hand or something. Crypto? Uh, but how would crypto be a hobby, though? Okay. I, I guess it could be like a little bit like gambling. I guess you're like, I don't know, going for like moon shots or something, but you're like dodgy crypto. But if you're just like put money in the, I don't know, Bitcoin or Ethereum, I guess that would be a little bit different. But even then, like people might like that. It's, it's not highly respected. Cigars? Cigars? That's a lot of old school. I wouldn't like that. Clubbing. Okay. So, my perception of clubbing that, I mean, maybe some people like clubbing, but I think most people don't like clubbing, but might go clubbing because think other people like clubbing. But, like, clubbing fucking sucks. Isn't it? I mean, I, I would agree that uh, that clubbing sucks. So, marijuana, okay, sure. That's interesting that it's so low. Because on the internet, you might get the perception that, like, oh, it's a cool thing to do. But yeah, I'm I'm not a fan. I guess of doing drugs. I know like I have tried it at all. Funko. Aren't those like bubble head figurines or something? Okay, why is that so low? You would like rate Funko super low, but like you would get some plushies yourself or something. Right, your your room better look super Spartan like me, like mine. Arguing online. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of silly. But there's just no debating. No no debating with her, no debating online, just n no argument. Okay. So, prawn is not a thing you can engage in either. Sure. But why? I mean, that, that would be a good question. I guess I guess you're not going to get a, a, a real answer. You're just going to be, I don't like it. That's pretty much it. Just, I don't like it and there's going to be some justification. Gambling. Okay. I mean, I guess... I think is. We live in a weird time where basically if almost everything you're exposed to kind of has like gambling element to it. They try to like make you gamble, like video games most of all. I mean, I do like... I, I Well, I do like some video games, but... Although I'm not currently playing games right now. But like the gaming industry kind of like is going the wrong way, I would argue. Um, the Manosphere. Uh-huh. That's just a derog derogatory label, or let's check it out. Okay, so diverse collection of websites, blogs, online forums promoting masculinity. Oh, this, we can't have that. Misogyny, is, does it? Do, okay. Opposition to feminism. I mean, the problem with feminism, and this is a problem with basically anything, any kind of group, is that it just stands for the group, and it has various justifications, and... And it just pushes for power. And that's it. And, uh, yeah. Because if you were a true feminist, you would ultimately not be one. You would just join equality. And you would not be pushing for feminism. <clears throat> because 
like and anyone who just pushes for fairness just uh pushes for uh power and uh what's good for them i suppose or they just use it as a platform to virtue signal because when it comes to causes they're like maybe some cause arises and like everyone just bandwagons on that cause like no one cares about the other causes but like just be virtue signal super hard about it <laughs> Committees within the matter to include men's rights activists. Well, we can't have those guys. Okay? Guys who are uh, not in relationships. Guys who are, don't intend to be relationships. Uh, those who pick up artists. Fathers rights groups. <sighs> this is not looking good. I mean, do, do you just, like... This is, this is not good. Okay? What else we have? Okay? Okay? It's not looking good. So, don't be part of these guys. Alright. Let's see the hobbies. Clubbing. So, the guys think that the chicks like clubbing. And apparently, they don't. Although, you would have to trust that this is accurate. Because apparently some people like clubbing. Okay. Drinking. So, so the guys who have these hobbies. Let's just, let's just go fast. Know that their hobbies are unpopular. <laughs> Attractive hobbies by class or category. Unattractiveness of male nerd hobbies. Why are you call it nerd stuff? I mean, even nerd is kind of a subjective label. Women per percentage of women responded unattractive to hobby. Okay. Reading. Okay. So you can read. And if building models, who who builds models? Even though I would argue that I mean what kind of models you're building would would highly affect whether they like it, I guess. Not like you, you might care about it. So, like, are you building, like, airplanes or, like, I don't know, like, some kind of a... Build models. And that would be my point, too. Because, like, people are probably not exposed to this. They don't hate what they don't know, right? They're not, not, even, not even, They don't even know about it. So stamps, D&D, magic tricks, arcade games, wargaming, <laughs> video games, comic books, cosplay, MTG, anime, crypto, Funko, whatever. So all of this is just bad. You know, you can read practical stuff. None of that, you know, nothing fun. Just practical stuff. And that's acceptable. Anything else? It's going to be rough, boys. Attractiveness of male athletic hobbies. Okay. Golf. Oh, okay. I would say golf sucks. It really sucks. I guess is it what old people do because they can't do anything else, not much else. And like, okay, goals are not popular. Those are boring too. Boxing MMA. I guess that breaks your face, but that might actually teach you to, you know, just, you know, self defense. That could be good. Yoga. I guess that's a little boring. Skateboarding. I guess that might break your face too. And. Other than that, running, bodybuilding, fencing, riding, playing sports, scuba, surfing, sky, rock diving, canoeing, hiking, swimming. I guess no how to swim, maybe. But like, yeah, I guess having a sport is, is, a, is a plus. <laughs> Except it breaks your face. And artistic hobby is not so much. Well, it's still, still, yes. A cosplay is not. That's unacceptable. It's interesting because, like... The acceptance level of hobbies kind of depends on how many people engage in it. Because, like, for example, video games, they were even less popular in the past. You were just a hopeless, hopeless nerd if you if you even thought about playing video games. That was terrible. And, of course, you did not care. Like, fuck them, right? You just do what you want. So, theater, uh, building models, sure, dancing. Yeah. Blacksmithing as artistic hobby. Photo, painting, woodworking, playing the instrument. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. I, I kind of wonder that, do they actually have experience with this? Or just like, just pressing whatever, right? I'm thinking the latter. Unattractiveness of male vice hobbies. How do you know what a vice is, though? I mean, you can argue something is a vice by actually has negative effect on you. But... Like, objectively negative. But, like, if it's subjectively negative, then who, sa who says what a vice is? Video games. Like, that's a good point. Like, are video games a vice? At 62% don't like it. Unattractive. Really. That's just crazy. I mean, 
Maybe if you do it too much, I guess. Still. Watching TV is a vice. Okay. Drinking is a vice. Cigar is a vice. Drugs is a vice. Arguing online is a vice. Fraud is a vice. Gambling is a... And the man is... I'm not sure how that is a hobby, but like, sure. That is a vice too. Basically, just... Uh, what we learned here. That you should... Uh, well, but we didn't finish yet. We should, we should wait for the very end, for the conclusion. Attractants of a male, cultural hobbies, politics, antiquing, bird watching, movies, dancing, plays, musicals. Really? Concerts, making films. Does that count like YouTubing? Oh my god. Astronomy? Photography, foreign languages, reading? Sure. So politics is not popular. I would say, like, kind of like effectively being apolitical is a good way to interact with people, but you're not going to be apolitical, realistically. But still, I mean, in, in professional setting, you want to be apolitical, at least. Antiquing. But these are so niche. Have you ever met someone who do, does antiquing? Birdwatching? So, yeah. But still, these are pretty high, so I guess it's fine. Just uh, make sure. I'm pretty sure this politics would be super fucking high. If you actually shared her politics. Because that's how people work. Survival hobbies. 50% on hunting? Why? No, I don't do any hunting, but like... It, it actually might just put food on the table, I guess. It could be like... Yeah. Fishing too? Why? Fishing shooting? Why fishing is so low? I, I don't get it. I mean, people might just go fishing on like the Saturday... And just sit there, get fix it. Fi I mean, uh, get some fish and bring it back home, and that's the dinner, right? Why fishing is so low? I guess it's not hated, but like, still, so, no like fishing. And apparently, like running is a hobby, and bird watching is a hobby. Mechanics is a hobby. Leather working. What? The, who does that? Camping, canoeing, blacksmithing. Yeah, these are so fucking niche. Cooking is a hobby, sure. I cook. Gardening. It's more like, it really... I'm more like I do this when I need to. Otherwise, I, I don't really have any hobbies like this. Yeah, I, I cook, okay? Yeah, I, guess, I, guess, I guess these can be hobby. I, I would argue that you don't want someone <laughs> whose hobby is cooking. That person will give the entire family diabetes. They're all going to be fat and dead in 20 years. So that may not be a good good call. Well, uh, well, unless they can somehow restrain themselves. Maybe they like, they really like cooking salad or something. M male martial hobbies. Boxing. Okay, that's low. Shooting, fencing, riding, archery. As I said, archery sucks. <laughs> okay, but these are... Who does this? I guess boxing might be the most common. Or maybe shooting if you're in America. Well, that's pretty much it. Consumer hobbies. Prawn, Mariana, clubbing, cigars, anime. So this is kind of like uh, repeating itself. Watching TV, video games. This is savage though. But these are also... Oh, this is an outside hobby. This is... Inside, going out to watch the movies, plays musicals, what the fuck? So, reading is super respect for some reason. Concerts? Concerts fucking suck. Who likes concerts? You go out there in the middle of nowhere, and it's so fucking loud. Even if you were outside of it, it would be still fucking loud. And you just stand there with a bunch of drunken people. Just stand. Or listen to music. That's way too fucking loud. Concerts suck so bad. I mean, at that point, you might be better off going clubbing, I guess. It's not good. I don't know who likes concerts. Plays musicals? That kind of sucks, too. I mean, did they ever go? I mean, you, you might like it, but I guess it wouldn't be like a common thing. I don't know. I mean, how many musicals have you watched in your life? Yeah. 
movies, sure. I guess that's common. But at this point, at this at this point, I'm just too used to uh, watching things sped up, so I would not enjoy going to the movies. And actually, it just sucks in the first place uh, if you ever went. Okay, and apparently these are not good hobbies. Damn, man. Interestingly, that people might be engaging in the not good hobbies more. These are like maybe like special occasions or something. Who knows? Except reading is just like so good. I actually kind of have a beef against reading in a, in a way because it is just too respected, I would argue. Because a, a book is not necessarily good. I mean, throughout history, we just have a ton of books and people wrote dumb books too. But only the, the good books somewhat remained. And now reading is just super respected. Like the books are so smart. Not really. Anyone can just write a bunch of words uh, down a page and just, just go ramble. So books are not necessarily great. It really depends. Although they could be a good way to just uh, have a like a... Actually, I, I would argue books are okay. But it really depends on, on uh, the subject and who wrote it. There are only advantages that someone may have taken the time to to really think about things and may have well actually collected their thoughts in a in a reasonable manner. But that might be true of a YouTube video, and no doubt you can argue that like a TikTok is is garbage, and that that's fine. But books are are very far from ultimately good. Okay, these are the other hobbies: magic tricks. Yeah. But the chicks are not gonna dig that. Bowling. Okay. Motorcycles? Playing pool? Mechanics? How is that a hobby? Okay. So, I mean, what we basically learned that you can go go climbing or something, and that's gonna be respected. And maybe if you go out, uh, maybe that's gonna be respected a little bit more. But generally speaking, you should not have a hobby other than reading. Uh, practical books. Sex differences in perceptions of male hobbies? So, yeah. Basically, guys with motorcycles and boxing think their hobby is more popular. It is not. I mean, you can ride bikes. Uh, I have nothing against that, but those who ride bikes think that others think that they are cool, maybe. <laughs> At least it's uh, a cliche. Really, these, these are matching. Mm-hmm. So what we learned is that reading is the hobby, and also speaking other languages, maybe playing an instrument, but I think people are, are kind of like mistaking this, because maybe the Bob the Drummer wouldn't be as popular as like Alponzo with his guitar. Otherwise, it'd just be useful around the house, that's pretty much it. And if you have other hobbies, it's going to be a little bit rough.